Dragon Varsity Soccer back on Orion Neighborhood Television Game of the Week. Anchor Bay is in town to take on your hometown Dragons. In this uh, sunny but chilly evening, the wind is blustery and not ideal conditions out here. Dragons come into this uh, contest sitting at 1-3-1 and one on the season after a much needed win against Seaholm. They won 3-1. Number 10, Liz Crawford has been a spark off the bench for Lake Orion, netting two goals against Seaholm while nursing an injured thigh. Goalkeeper Kylie Kapiski is solid in net and made key saves to get that win secured for Lake Orion. Anchor Bay rolls in at 2-1-1, one one, uh, having a hard time scoring goals this season. We'll have kickoff right after this short timeout. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Soccer. Stay tuned. As a parent, you know you can't prevent every accident. Add a mouth guard to your child's sports or recreational equipment list to help prevent the impact of a painful and costly facial injury. If your child does sustain a facial injury, seek an evaluation from an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. OMSs are experts in handling injuries to the face, mouth, and jaws. Learn more at myoms.org. All right, back here, Dragon Stadium Varsity Soccer, Anchor Bay in town to take on your Dragons. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. With the call tonight, Anchor Bay again is coming in at 2-1-1 one one on the season. And they are from the Macomb Red Conference. And they are used to very tight games. Um, I think all of their games have been decided by one goal or less. Their last win was at home versus Warren Regina, 2-1. They have uh, scored a total of three goals all season. So low scoring team, good defensive squad. And they're gonna have their hands full with this Dragon uh, defense. If they're already coming in struggling to score, uh, the Dragon defense is going to open their eyes. And uh, I don't think they're gonna make it easy for Anchor Bay uh, tonight. But again, the weather Again, all spring season, we've been saying it to every telecast we've had uh, here on ONTV this spring is, it's been odd, we got sunny, but it is 30 some degrees out here. It's about, the sun is still up, but it is clear skies and it is cold. So, uh, but we're here to uh, bring you this uh, soccer action. If you'd like to watch more games uh, from our spring season of 2024, head on over to OrionOnTV.org and check out our website's uh, video on demand uh, we have uh, some, I think, one softball match. We've got a couple lacrosse games uh, ready to go. And the Seahole match covered by ONTV is ready for viewing as well. And we're underway here, um, here at Dragon Stadium. Varsity soccer coming your way. And you can hear that wind whipping across our microphone again. The good thing is the sun is out. And... Uh, but you can see all the team <laughs> Anchor Bay's wrapped up in their parkas on the sideline with their winter hats on, just trying to stay warm. It is a chilly one out here. Dragons up that far side looking to uh, cause some damage early, and they send it out of play. Good defense by 16. You know who that is, and that's Addie Verlinden. And Verlinden had a very good game against Seaholm. She was frustrated in that matchup, had four offsides calls, as I, uh, as I remember, as she was really making the push to uh, score in that match. Oh, there's number 10. You see Crawford with the white thigh wrap on. She is starting tonight after that stellar um, showcase against Seaholm, two goals in the second half in that uh, contest. Anchor Bay fighting for that ball. It's 22, Kyra Wolf. Finding the open space. And yes, uh, Macy Firestein, double zero in the net for Anchor Bay, gathers that one in. Dragons has some size and speed. So they gotta watch out, uh, Anchor Bay does, on that offensive attack. They have to be on their toes at all times. This Dragon team can really take advantage of mistakes that you make. Also, uh, 
the Lady Dragons are also really, really good at the set pieces. So free kicks and corner kicks uh, against Seaholm. They really put pressure on the Maples uh, defense with the corner kicks and the free kicks. So we'll see what happens here against Anchor Bay. Nice feed up that left side. Anchor Bay looking to center that ball. They do. Cleared up at Lake Warren. Tapped in, and Kapiski gathers that one in. Nice pressure by number 13, McKenna Kennedy, the senior forward. Stands 5'8". Some uh, nice size here on Anchor Bay, 5'8", 5'9", 5'7". A good mixture of great levels here in experience. You have seniors, juniors, sophomores, freshmen, you name it, uh, wrapped up in this Anchor Bay squad. Dragons are a junior heavy team and uh, experienced. A nice move there by 13 again, calling her name. That's 13 Kennedy. Nice footwork there. Fouget's bumped off the ball by Lake Orion. Lake Orion in the dark jerseys, Anchor Bay in the light jerseys. Uh, the Dragons do uh, cycle between black jerseys and green when they're at home, so they're wearing the the dark jerseys today. Gabby Butke, number 20 on def on offense. Roving the midline. Trying to split that defense as Anchor Bay and the Dragons uh, look for support and try to clear it out. And cleared out of play by Anchor Bay's number seven. That is Glinsky. Nice throw down the line. I want to thank you for turning into this telecast. Owen TV just loves the spring season. We're just waiting for it to warm up on us. Crawford with the knee or the thigh wrap there, making your presence felt. Some banging going on out there, pulling on the shoulders. Referees, uh, this is a physical match already. Onside delivery for Linden. Trying to find somebody there. Nice feed over to Crawford. Here she goes. She walks in. Nicely done. Oh, what a nice save. Still alive and another deflection out. Dodged one there. Did Anchor Bay. Great save by Firestein, but even better by the Anchor Bay defense. Quality scoring chance number one for Lake Orient. Dragons come back on the attack and drop it in. You can see that ball just die out of the scare. Bucky trying to make a move. Deflected over to Crawford. Crawford looks for some support. And the Dragons send it into the box just outside the 18. Making some moves inside. Bucky with it. Looking for support again. A Libby Acker with it. The sixes and the eights on these dark jerseys are tough to read. I'm going to have to uh, call the athletic director, uh, Chris Bell, and go, what the heck? We can't see the numbers. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Anyway, I know they don't they don't select the jerseys based on uh, television appearance. And it looks like a warning. A little bit of education happening here for number 18, Aaron Regalia, the experienced senior with a captain's uh, band on her arm, getting a little uh, chit chat with uh, the ref. So we'll see what happens. Moving forward with that one to, to share the phrase from my good buddy, uh, Sammy Taramina. Dragons on the attack, looking on that right side. Nice feed in, low screamer. Turned away by Anchor Bay. Anchor Bay doing a nice job of ball control and turning away that Dragon offense, but the Dragons offense is putting pressure on early in this contest. Nice feed up that left side once again. Anchor Bay looking at that left side. Looks like Kennedy on net, but wide right. Nice play there. I believe that was Kennedy, the uh, senior forward. Mentioned her name a couple times tonight already. Dragons will have a free kick here, or a goal kick. 33-43 left in this first half. The wind is blowing. 
out of the east. It is stiff and it is cold. We're lucky to have the sun shining out here. We'll be shivering. The chattering could be our camera operator's teeth. You might hear that on microphone as the, the night rolls along here. Good closing speed by Lake Orion. Four Dragons on two Anchor Bay offensive players. Nice closing on the ball. Trying to turn on its 24. That is Anulare. Dragons grab it, and they're content to clear it out a little bit. You can see they didn't get a lot of mustard on that one. It's still active in the Dragon defensive end. Still in, now out of play. for Linden trying to make something happen there. Nice throw in by Anchor Bay. Again, out of play. Dragons just trying to get an offensive rush going, but Anchor Bay being pesty, or <laughs> pesky as they say. <laughs> Seven, Rachel Glinsky num uh, for Anchor Bay. Some fancy footwork there. Dragons do get it back on the throw in. Dragons fighting for it, trying to get something going, and they give it up. Not attacking that ball like we usually see him. And a nice feed in the middle. 13 trying to race that one down. Frank Bay again, that's McKenna Kennedy. Klinsky, number seven, over to 17. That is uh, Tomaszowski. I'm seeing her name right. Cutting inside, nicely done. And a call just outside the box. Is that a PK? We'll see. That is outside the box by a nose. Dragons dodge one there. Good offensive attack and pressure put on by uh, Anchor Bay. Kyra Wolf, the senior forward and defender, is her, uh, as she's listed here with the honors here in this danger. Uh, quality chance here for Anchor Bay. Sent high and wide right. Lucky the wind didn't take that one and bend it in, but. Scoring chance for Anchor Bay in the early stages of this one. Betcha um, Kira Wolf would like to have that one back. You see the wind blowing, just blowing the ball off its spot. And a low kick on the goal kick over to number three for Lake Orion. That is Paisley Frisch. Foul called on Anchor Bay. Free kick coming for the green and white. I want to thank you all for tuning in to this telecast. If you like these uh, sporting events, be sure to turn into Game of the Week on Comcast Channel 10, AT&T versus Channel 99. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, we have Game of the Week at 7 p.m., the most current games in our lineup. And as we add these spring uh, games to our uh, playback schedule, you can see those games live at set or playback at 7 p.m., we also have a, a video on demand at our website at orionontv.org and on our YouTube channel. Again, head on over to orionontv.org for all of your Dragon sports. Dragon's really crashing the ball, handlers. Uh, we're seeing three around the ball every time, and it's really disrupting Anchor Bay's uh, timing. Oh, nice give through. Chip on, and it's over to Crawford. And offsides. Just a bit offsides. You see that uh, thigh ramp on, uh, on Crawford's leg. She had a great game, as mentioned, in the open against Seaholm. Two goals in the second half. Nearly a third. And really disrupted uh, the Maples' uh, defense. And really sparked the uh, Dragons onto a W. Here we go again, some open space to work. Dragons trying to find the open player. Anchor Bay does a nice job of putting the offensive players for Lake Orion offside. So have to be cautious of where they touch the ball and when they to receive it. Right back to set it up, looking for distance and a skipper over to Firestein and she easily gathers that one in. Dragons favoring that right side, and so far it looks like they're keying on 
Liz Crawford, number 10. Uh, but they're working back and forth nicely. And what we find with uh, the Lady Dragons is when they're passing the ball and they are accurate and on point, they're a tough team to beat. Passing leads to goals. Nice feed up that right side again over to Crawford out of play. She, see, she seems to be moving better on that, uh, that wrapped thigh than she was at Seaholm. She had a noticeable limp and was coming off the bench. Today she gets the start. Paisley Frisch, number three, being a disruptor over there and gets the steal nicely done. Can't close out. Dragons had a player in the open. Just couldn't get it to her. Good hustle by Frisch. Nice turn there by the Dragons. Number 19, Brodowski. Brodowski is challenged in the slide tackle. Nicely done by Anchor Bay. No call play continues. Dragons get possession back. Brodowski. Again, trying to keep it in and it dribbles out of play. And a dragon throw in here by number 12, Ferrancic. Here we go. Nice tap in the middle. Close quarter passing by the Dragons. Nicely done. Heads up, looking for those angles. And looking for the middle and the giveaway. Kaminsky out of the net. Anchor Bay defense. Packed back in tight on their defensive end. Gabrielle Butke, number 20, being a disruptor out there as well. She had a goal against Seaholm off the corner kick. And it looked like it deflected off her hip. It was an odd goal, odd angle, but it went in. And that pretty much sealed the win for Lake Orion against Seaholm. Got the third goal of the night. Some subs being made. It's hard to hear the announcement um, with the wind howling. Anchor Bay making a change. Amber Reitz checks in uh, number 18 for Anchor Bay on the throw in. Anchor Bay looking for support, finding it, and it's disrupted. Again, Dragons really challenging the ball handler, doing a good job. Reeds off the bench has it, number 18. Off to 24, that's Anulare. Anulare, hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> and a nice challenge by Crawford goes out of play. Dragons earned the throw in. Clock is ticking quick in this first half. Just five minutes away from the midway point of this first half and it's a 0-0 game so far. Dragons turn on it, can't clear it. Anchor Bay looking for space to roam over to 24 on Olare again, coming back to her. Head up, directing traffic. Cuts inside, left foots it in. Good defensive challenge by Lake Orion to disrupt that passing sequence. Oh, a nice tap through. Butkey challenges that, looks for support, finds it, still has it. Dancing on that sideline, out of play. Dragon throw in. All right, substitutions. Number three's in. Myla Martin, sophomore defender for Anchor Bay as number 18, Reitz, takes a seat. Throw in by number two, Muzia. A lot of changes and rotations by Anchor Bay. Dragons up that side. A pretty short bench for Anchor Bay. Doesn't look like they have a lot of subs, so keep the legs fresh, cycling uh, players in and out. Nice steal by 17, Tamash. <laughs> Tomaszki. I'm doing my best, everyone. <laughs> two minutes, to, two, 2.22 until the midway point of this first half. 
Dragons have done a nice job pressing that offense or pressing the defense of Anchor Bay. Feeding it in. Bucky trying to run that one down. Nice turn by Anchor Bay. Crawford leaning on her offensive player and putting pressure on. Anchor Bay gets the throw in. We encourage all of you to pop out to uh, watch these games live. Uh, to cheer on these student athletes. Uh, concession stand is open and serving all sorts of tasty goodies for those in attendance. And just a reminder, all proceeds from uh, concessions go to the high school band program. Ooh, tough clearing kick there by Kapitsky, but it finds its way to a black jersey. Just cut around, good, uh, good hustle by Ooh, giveaway. It was number three off the bench. That was Martin. She had some good hustle there. Bucky trying to feed it in. For Linden in the middle. Very active. Frisch trying to do her job. Nice feed up that left side. Again, attacking that left side. 19's in pursuit, but a little too far ahead. Morgan McGee can't make it there. The 5'9 sophomore. Has some wheels, but uh, she's not that fast. And again, artificial surface, if you've never played on it, it's very quick. Um, if you're used to grass, um, take you a little bit of adjustment on the artificial surface to get used to the speed. Dragons have played on artificial surface for a number of years. And I believe this uh, surface was Redone and updated not too long ago, pre-pandemic, and um, it's a it's a great field, great surface. All right, Dragons at the midway point of this uh, first half, looking to attack again. Crawford, nice uh, left-footed feet in there in the middle. Butkey comes near side. Can't get the, the shot off. 19, Bardowski trying to get a right foot on it on that left side, but just can't get it uh, timed up right. Good defense by Anchor Bay. Dragon's offense is clicking. It is, it is putting that pressure on. They're finding that space. It's just a matter of execution at this point. Nice give and go in the open. High screamer, and oh, nice save by Firestein. Second quality scoring chance for Lake Orion tonight as we're at 19-15. Nice feed in there by Butkey. And uh, Firestein had to make that save. The senior uh, goalkeeper for Anchor Bay. Find it, find it, find it. Clock continues to roll here. Again, that left side is the uh, preferred attacking side, it seems, for Anchor Bay. Crawford tries to keep it in, out of play. Throw in coming for the team in white. Dragons line, oh, as they call it a foul, it wasn't out of play. So uh, free kick coming. That knee brace looks like serious business <laughs> over there. Plant foot sends it long, nicely done. Finds a Dragon jersey, stolen by Anchor Bay, and they're on the move. Oh, nicely done on the defensive side. Feeds that up the middle. Bucky feeds it up that right side. Is it? Dragons have something here. Left foot high, and Screamer and had, oh boy, had, um, it looks like Libby Aker or Verlinden was in that back door position to just pop that one in. Just a bit too mustard on that. I think that's 22, uh, Tabish. Tabish is dangerous on the outside with wheels. Very patient player. There's Tabish at the top of your screen. Nicely done. That was a good uh, three-person rush there. And again, that was number six, Dylan Verlinden, on that left forward position. That was back door ready to go, but Tabish couldn't get it to her. Keep that ball on the ground, and you're tapping that one in to go up 1-0. 
Anchor Bay trying to go over the top of that backline defense, and it's gathered in by Kopiski easily. Now against Seaholm, Seaholm tallied one goal against the Dragons, and that goal was kind of a misplayed um, slow roller, really, by Kopiski. It was at 109 at the start of the game, just a minute, nine seconds into the game, and it really kind of stunned Lake Orion at the outset of this contest as a foul is called. Free kick coming to Anchor Bay. But the Dragons recovered nicely to uh, tie it at the end of the first half. And then um, the Dragons just kind of poured it on after that to secure the 3-1 win. Oh, misstep. Tavish there, number 22. Just being a disruptor, nicely done there to knock it out of play. Let's take a peek. Let me see here. Anchor Bay after Lake Orion has Romeo on the road. Unica Eisenhower at home. The next two matches. Ooh, nice feed in the middle and wide open in the in the slot. Kick over the crossbar. Just High and wide, great rush by number three, Martin off the bench, nicely done with uh, assist and with help from Brianna Sapienza. And that was deflected by the Lake Orion D just at the last second. That is a quality scoring chance for sure. And first corner kick of the night goes to Anchor Bay. Anchor Bay sleepy on their offense, and all of a sudden they split the D and they roll right in and nearly tag one. Let's see how this corner kick goes at 15 13 of the first. Short corner looking to uh, pull the defense out. Those screamers still alive inside the box. Dragons clear it out. Interesting choice. They had the wind at their back coming from the east on that corner kick, but they decide to danger in the middle to clear that ball in the middle. But everybody's kind of on that left side. Tabish is trying to gather that one in, and she does. Tip, tap dancing on that sideline. Tabish, the Dragons trying to find somebody open. They do. Butke, number 20, has it. Tries to feed it in, still on side. Oh, nice tic-tac-toe passing out open on that far side. Tabish has it. Ch chip on. Set in. Score! Nicely done by number 22. At 14-20, the Dragons go up 1-0. Here's a replay of that. You see Bucky gathering it in. You see the three black jerseys, four white jerseys, a lot of open space. I think that was a tap by Verlinden, just finding the open space on that, that corner and the defense is slow to react. The size and speed and a chip on, that's it. That's all she wrote. Left uh, Firestein exposed and they bury that in near side upper 90. Nicely done by uh, Nadia, oh, excuse me, by number 22, Mackenzie Tabish. Dragons are energized now. They'd love to tack on more. Anchor Bay faithful, a little bit quiet here. Still cheering on their uh, squad as that one rolls out of play. Taylor, number seven for Lake Orion, has the honors on the throw in. Can't make up her mind. Who's marked up? What are you going to do? Dragons try to turn on it to go center again. Chased down by number nine, Garcia, looking for support. Looks like after the goal, we have a couple substitutions. Rotate the players in and out. Good uh, good play, good, uh, good goal by the starting unit. Ball is still alive. Bucky's right there in the middle, and you got number six running that one down, Verlinden. And what are we saying here? Offsides early on. Like Orion offsides. 
So that will be coming back, free kick coming. Dragons are aggressive when you're getting calling your onsides calls. Um, that means you are uh, you're really playing with some pace and trying to get upfield quickly and just lost sight of that backline defender. That's easily called. Foul. Dragon faithful grown at that one, but I, it's a fair call. Crowd getting restless here on both sides. Close match, physical match. So far, these teams look evenly matched. They look really good. Again, Anchor Bay comes at 2-1-1. One, one. Nice feed into just outside the 18. A battle ensues with number 14, Maya Chap, coming out and deflecting that out of play. 16, Borowski for Anchor Bay, trying to chase that one down. Soccer ball's flying all over the place for the throw-in. Looks like Katie Broth will have the honors, number 24, with the throw-in. Time continues to roll here. We're inside 12 minutes already. This first half really has flown by. A lot of end-to-end -end action. Garcia trying to do something with it. Pulls it back, looking for the open player, and she finds her. On the move are the Dragons, sending that up that far side again. That far right side, Tabish in pursuit. Already one goal tonight. And wisely knocked out of play by Anchor Bay. See that flag in the background just standing on end, just whipping. Long throw in. Anchor Bay trying to gather it in to clear it out. Don't want to dance with it in there. That's danger zone. That ball just looks like it died. Dragons really putting the pressure on that defense. Butke was level with 24 there for a moment. Enulare still fighting over in that corner. Tabish. Tabish Steele's are going to call foul. Looks like she clipped the ankle of number 24 on Ulari. And free kick coming here for Anchor Bay. I like the aggressiveness of the Dragon squad on the ball handlers. Uh, they are really putting two on the ball when they get a chance. Number nine for Anchor Bay has the honors. Strazuski. Freshman defender on that last free kick. Sent down range by Anchor Bay. Coming near side, Garcia tries to gather in. I think that's Garcia. Again, these jerseys, tough to read the numbers. Number five. Rosalina Gokaj. Hope I'm saying that right. Number six, there you go. Verlinden, Dylan Verlinden. Offside call, I do believe or out of play. The, the line's been called a foul on the collision. Dragons had the advantage. I'm not sure why they didn't let, let continue, play continue. Aaron Regalia, the senior with the honors here, number 18 to fire it in. Bends it in. Dylan Verlinden itching for a goal. She's, a, she's got some speed to burn and a high motor. Good throw down there. Verlinden kicked out of play. Yeah, Galinsky, number seven for Anchor Bay, has got to keep an eye on number six because she'll keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Next thing you know, she's right behind you and make you pay. Dragon offense standing their ground. Nice uh, disruption there. Sophia Garcia, number nine, looks for support and finds it. Dragons send it down range again on that right side. Bucky and Tabish, uh, Bucky and Tabish are there, and it goes off. It's still in, technically still in. That flag stick on the corner is part of the field, so that's legal. Thought it was going out of play. Trying to split the D, very difficult to do. Eight, 15 left in this first half. Dragons up one, nothing on the goal by Tavish at 14-20. On a beauty. Could probably say uh, you had three people get an assist on that one. 
Substitutions being made by Lake Orion at the eight minute mark. I think Kira West checks in. Yeah, Kira West, number 23, checks in for Lake Orion. We're in the captaincy band. And it looks like number 10, Crawford's back in. You can ID here with the, uh, the leg wrap as Tabish loses control of that one, but it's out of play off of number five, Aaron. Dragons really putting pressure on this last uh, three minutes here in this first half. Anchor Bay kind of reeling at the offensive pressure the Dragons are putting on. Garcia trying to gather that one in and steals it back, but what happens? Looking for support at the midfield, Dragons find it. That's Taylor, number seven, with the ball. Skirts through the backline defense and gathered in by Firestein. Momentum, you just kind of feel the momentum. Dragons are really pushing in on the offensive side of the ball and getting in deep and having long possessions. Long offensive possessions. Uh, yeah, Anchor Bay's got to watch out. Dragons can put the ball in the net. And as mentioned before, Anchor Bay only has three total goals all season. And they got two of them against Warren Regina on their on one of their wins. Uh, so they don't they don't put it in the net a whole bunch, but they have solid defense. And they got one nothing uh, decisions, two one, and a zero zero tie. Their loss was one nothing loss. So yeah, it's tight games, not a lot of scoring. Dragon, Dragons can put it in. And so far the offense is really kind of leaning on that defense, keeping them honest. Dylan Verlinden just being uh, passed out there, buzzing around, high motor, doesn't stop. Short kick by uh, Firestein. Challenge by Verlinden. Dragons try to jump on it. Garcia can't get a toe on it, and, and Anchor Bay's on the move. Number two is Muzia. Tap dancing through the D. Nice feed, nice angle. Garcia chases that one down, tries to get a toe on it. Dragons are there. 24 again, Anulare. Tap in, trying to split that middle D. Not happening. Dylan Verlinda, nice turn there and sends it right footed down. Ooh, comes back to Crawford. Crawford over to Verlinda. Little give and go action. But good defense by Anchor Bay to shut that. That was dangerous because if Verlinda gets in the clear, she is gone. Thrown by Lake Orion, approaching 430 left in the first. Up one nothing. There's Verlinda. She cuts it inside. I think she, she kept attacking on that left side. She had to have success. A lot of open green space over there. Mm -hmm. Again, Verlinda in the middle of everything. Number six is everywhere tonight. Crawford trying to gather that one in. Can't do it. Push down, no call. Play continues. I guess since Lake Orion has the ball, they're not going to call it. Kira West sends that over to the far side. Battling for it over there. Manulare trying to find the open player, just swarming. Black jersey swarming all over the ball. Dragons much more active in this game in the first half than they were against Seaholm. Tabish battling over there, gets the throw in. Already has one goal tonight. Throws it down the line, probably gonna get it back. Nope, looking for the middle. And just not enough on that pass, but stolen back again. I think that's, for, I can't tell who that is. The ponytail's covering up her number. Out of play. Throw in for Anchor Bay. Good sequence there by the Dragons. Brianna Sepienza 
with the honors throwing that one in, but deflected out. Dragons get possession back. Ooh, Crawford on the move on that right side. Danger, danger. She's got Verlinden in the middle. Cuts it back, finds an opening, but it is stolen. Still alive, out of play. What are you going to say? Linesman said it was deflected off. And it will be Anchor Bay ball. Nice pressure put on by Lake Orion. No corner kicks earned by Lake Orion just yet in this game. One for Anchor Bay. Still sitting at two quality scoring chances apiece by both squads with Dragons up 1-0. Exciting first half of soccer here at Dragon Stadium. Lady Dragons taking on the Macomb Red Anchor Bay. Long throw in, deflected on. That is still on, that is in, and Crawford has it. Looking for something to go on. Coming back, looking to feed it in the middle. Anybody there? Anybody home? Who's gonna close on that one? Tapped it in. Still alive. It's like Tabish over there trying to find somebody open. Anchor Bay looking for support. That's number four, Brearley. Sends it down range. Dragons again attacking that ball. Held in by seven. Glinski. Two-person game here. Glinski up that right side. Excuse me, that's number two, Muzia. Ziu battling over there. Out of play. Good defensive stand by the green and white. Approaching one minute left in this first half. Dragons up one, nothing. And that would be another throw in for Lake Orion. Aaron Regalia, number 18, looks on. Dylan Verlinden has it. Splitting that D. Oh, nice shape out there. Garcia with it. Looking at the far side pass. Oh, nice feed. Dragons up that right side with room to roam. Looking for the middle. That was a nice feed. Crawford couldn't gather it in, but she's still active over there, chasing that one down. Sent down range by Anchor Bay. That pressure, they had to clear it out. Dragons with a throw in. Long throwing in the corner. Crawford trying to head that one in the middle. Tap pass over to Verlinden. Coming near side in the middle to number seven is Taylor. Taylor chip on. And that's the end of the first half. Great action. Here in the first half, Tabish scores at 14-20 to give the Dragons the lead. There she is, number 22. Dragons like playing with a lead. And we'll see what happens in the second half. This is a well-contested match. Very even matchup between these two squads. We'll have the second half after this. Stay tuned. As a parent, you know you can't prevent every accident. Add a mouth guard to your child's sports or recreational equipment list to help prevent the impact of a painful and costly facial injury. If your child does sustain a facial injury, seek an evaluation from an oral and maxillofacial surgeon. OMSs are experts in handling injuries to the face, mouth, and jaws. Learn more at myoms.org. About to get underway here in the second half of this contest. Lake Orion taking on Anchor Bay. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, for this Game of the Week telecast. Dragons up 1-0 as we start the second half here. Goal at 14-20 by Tabish. Dragons offense has been in a very nice way here. A lot of pressure on that Anchor Bay defense for the last, geez, 10 minutes of the first half. And uh, for Linden trying to center that ball, it's deflected out. It is getting colder and colder here. The wind seems to keep, is picking up. And still coming out of the uh, 
the northeast gusts. You can hear it on the microphones. Anchor Bear has it coming near side. Uzia, number two, looking for somebody open. Finds some space, finds it, number 13, Kennedy. Looks for support. Back in the middle, nicely done by Anchor Bay. Can they get the shot off? They cannot. Who's over there, leaving it right foot and save by Kapitsky. Whoa, Kira Wolf out of nowhere comes in. But Kapiski cuts down at an angle and gets the save. Quality scoring chance for Anchor Bay there, their third of the night. The Dragons dodged one right there. That was the best qual uh, quality scoring chance we've seen this evening for Anchor Bay. Trying to see the personnel out there on the field for Lake Orion. Looks like the same group that ended the first half. Coming near side on the long feed. Verlinden number six still here. She doesn't look like she gets tired. Anchor Bay tries to turn on it. Verlinden with it, kind of feed it up that right side. Crawford has it, it's a little bit ahead. Firestein is there, but the pressure is being put on that uh, Anchor Bay defense and Crawford Crawford crashing the net, as they say, and nearly got a toe on it. She had two goals in the previous match against Seaholm. She can put the ball in the back of the net, that's for sure, the sophomore. And nursing a thigh injury, it's all wrapped up. It's... Oh, nice steal by Crawford. Just disrupting that def, just, just, Disrupting everything out there. Nicely done. Taparu, ball is still alive. Number four chases that one down. That is out of play. Big goal kick coming for Firestein and Anchor Bay. Woo, hope you like uh, the action here. It's end to end. It's been really, really good. Uh, Anchor Bay, if you're just joining us, comes into this contest 2-1-1 one, one on the season, has scored a, scored a total of three goals all season long. Their last win was a 2-1 win against Warren Regina just last week. Ooh, near feet, uh, split that defense. Nicely done by Anchor Bay. Berlin and coming near side with it. Got some space to roam on that far side. Little too much on that one. Out of play throw and coming for Anchor Bay. Looks like Glinski. Number seven will have the honors. Sun is setting behind us, as you can see. Wind is still a factor here. The gusts were so big, we actually saw the soccer ball placed uh, on a goal kick down on the ground and actually was blown out of position. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Temperature continues to drop, but the action is uh, fierce here at Dragon Stadium. Lady Dragons and Anchor Bay going at it. Anchor Bay in a good position over there on that far side, looking to step around and a good poke check there. I believe that was Berdo uh, Lillian Berdowski to knock that one out. Tabish, number 22, roaming that sidelines, looking on. And they're going to say out on Lake Orion, throw in coming. Number 11, Puget trying to hold that in for Anchor Bay. Skips away. Dragons have it, and what are they going to say? Out of bounds, or out of play throw in for Anchor Bay. They move quickly. Trying to send that one in the center. Verlinden tracks that one down. Splits that defense, and does. Crawford on the move. Can she reach it? She does. She has Tabish in the center. Still alive. Verlinden, 16. Trying to do it, saved it, 16. That is uh, Addison Verlinden, Dylan's sister. And nice quality, quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. Good uh, pursuit um, and delayed pursuit behind the ball by Tabish. 
Uh, collapses that defense because of Crawford's speed in that corner. Leaves her open, um, but unfortunately couldn't get a foot on it to get a solid shot on goal. Good offensive rush by Lake Orion. But again, we're back here in the, uh, in the Dragons defensive end. Anchor Bay will not go away. They've been very uh, offensive minded and accurate with their passes. Again, here we go again off that left side. Tabish in hot pursuit. Crawford raising her hand, Sam open in the middle. Nobody, no, they can't get her to the ball. Good defense, recovery. High archer in, header on score! Crawford, holy moly. Nicely done by number 10. At 33-44, spectacular goal. Liz Crawford, nicely done. Looking at offsides, no offsides call. They're saying it was good. And it looks like he's saying it deflected. The ball did hit the defender on the elbow. It's an onside play and she gets the, gets the uh, tally. That's a third goal we've seen from Crawford in the last two games. And the anchor Bay <laughs> faithful, uh, kind of giving the, uh, the linesman the business, uh, claiming offsides, two goals, two offsides, which I didn't see. Um, it, it really is, it just for those of you at home or new to soccer, it, you're not offsides if you're level with the defender and it is, where you are standing when the ball is kicked. So when the ball was delivered, that high archer out front, Crawford just needs to be standing level with the backline defense. And she, you know, as soon as that ball's kicked, you can move. So um, yeah, a header, a spectacular goal under that crossbar, nicely done. Dragons up 2-0 in command of this contest in the second half. Can Anchor Bay respond? Again, offensive scoring for Anchor Bay is hard to come by in the 2024 season. Dragon size and speed starting to show itself here. Nice step over by number 24, Gabby Anulare. And out of play, Dragons with the throw in. Dragons move quickly. Veteran chick number 12 goes to the turf in a heap. Play continues. Anchor Bay on the attack. They know they have to get something quick here. They don't need to level the match, but they need to at least get something going and a foul. Dropping number 13, I think that's McKenna Kennedy to the turf and works quickly and just dishes it in really to no one. Si uh, linesman telling the Anchor Bay faithful to stop the heckling. Um, <laughs> first I've ever heard that. Um, anyway, here back to game action here. Crawford up that right side. She is energized after that goal. Chip on across the end line. Is that deflected? I do believe it's deflected as a corner. Corner kick. Crawford is everywhere today, man. Corner kick, first one for Lake Orion today. And it looks like 16 is going to end the honor. That's Addie Verlinden, the junior, sporting that, uh, that robo knee brace there. That's on her plant foot. So let's see what happens here. We do have uh, the wind out of the, the north. Ooh, nice long feed, far post, header, and just out of play. Is that Bucky? No, it was her sister. Mm. Addison Tomaziski checks in number 17 for Anchor Bay, but it was 16 to six, the sisters connection there, trying to get Dylan Verlin in the header at the, bar, at the far post, can't quite square up. 31, 18 left in this game, Dragons up two, nothing. One goal in the first at 14, 20 by Tabish, and in the second by Crawford at 33, 44. Dragons with the ball on the throw-in. Sun setting here at Lake Orion. The lights are turned on. Crawford turning on that one, feeding it to the middle. Verlinden tried to do something with it. 
Good defensive stand by number three. Ball is still free. Tabe is trying to do something with it. And it is cleared out of the way. Good job number three by Myla Martin for Anchor Bay to clean that one up. Wow. When you have Verlinden, Dylan Verlinden, Tabish, and Crawford working uh, together, that is a dangerous combo. Kapitsky fires that one out. She hasn't really been challenged today. The one time she stood tall and closed that angle and shut down that attack at the early, uh, at the outset of the second half by Anchor Bay. Since then, you can just feel the momentum for Lake Orion just kind of picking back up in their favor. Still very active. Really closing in on the ball. Anchor Bay tries to find it over the top, and the Dragons are there. Already 10 minutes into this second half. Boy, that was a fast 10 minutes. Entertaining game here, boy. Sometimes you get, this is a close game, but it's been very entertaining. Every team has had some opportunities or near breakouts. It's a lot of fun, and can't chase that one down. Anchor Bay with a throw in. Both teams, I like the style of play of both teams moving quickly. We see some teams that like to have a ball position style where they just pass, 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 keep away and then find the opening to get in. Is that across the end line? It was. And Dragons put their hands up going, what do you mean? Goal kick coming for Anchor Bay. Morgan McGee, number 19, checks in for Anchor Bay. Again, looking at their bench. Doesn't look like a long bench, so they've been substituting in and out uh, freely. Um, since the first half, so, ooh, short kick. Dragons try to jump on it, and they do. Fedoranchik tries to run that one down, and Anchor Bay is moving nicely through the traffic, but sent back in. Bouncing ball tries to get settled down. Anchor Bay does settle it, and they're on the move. Number 13 has it, that's Kennedy. Oh, nice move up that right side. In the clear, 19. That's on side, nice. Oh, the ball is still alive. Cleared up by Lake Orion. Oh my goodness. Morgan McGee, number 19, was in position there. Boy, oh boy. Throw in by Anchor Bay. Nice scoring chance by Anchor Bay. Their fourth of the game. Dragon steal it. They had everybody in position. Kapitsky did her job and streaking up that right side. I think that's Tabish going left foot. Chip on in the middle, nicely done on the defensive end to shut that centering pass down. Crawford comes back out. Disrupt that defensive clearing. Yeah, she's, uh, Crawford looks pretty good with that thigh wrap on. Tabish putting on the defensive pressure. Or offensive pressure, if you will. Oh, nice turn by Lake Orion. Ball is still alive. Going to look left foot centering. Here it comes. Oh, Header trying to get that one on. Didn't square it up. Crawford gets her boot up, and they're going to call that the other way. That's just for the safety of the players. You, you, you kick up. You get the, your, uh, your cleats in the air. And that's just for safety's sake. They call that every time. Good call. Nice delivery by Anchor Bay to midfield. It's stolen or disrupted by Lake Orion. Ooh. Kennedy gives it to 19 near side McGee. What can she do with it? Still has it, still rolling. Out of play, that is out. Goal kick, just lost it slightly. You could see she was trying to make up her mind what she was gonna do with it, but that's the second time 19's been in position to make a play. McGee, the sophomore, since 5'9". Number two, 
Number 11, Pouget. Number two, Muzia. Check in for Anchor Bay. Paisley Frisch, number three for Lake Orion, also checks in. Time continues to roll. Ooh. Tabish in hot pursuit over there, out of play. Should be a Lake Orion throwing. Dragons looking to move quickly here. Crawford gets it, header in, into the middle. Nothing going there. Paisley Frisch couldn't run that one down. Gee, trying to find some room to roam. She's up that left side. She's open. Couldn't get it to her. She was off sides, and she knew it. She had to check up. Dragons on the move. Footwork and then a near side clearing coming, coming at you. Chip on in the middle. Paisley Frisch trying to do something with it. Crawford on uh, from the back check uh, steals the ball. Just a heads up play and speed and power. Going to left foot it, trying to center it. Ooh, on frame, header and oh, goes right by the goal mouth. Oh, and sent over. That set up nicely for the, uh, for the Dragons. Wide open net. Uh, Firestein had no chance, but Dragons couldn't clean up. I think that's, uh, I'm trying to read the number. Is that Berdoski? Trying to see there if it was number 19 for Lake Orion. Goal kick coming. No goal kick. Not the best of efforts there. Frisch trying to get it over to Tabish. Frisch still on the move. Challenged by number seven. That is Glinski. Back to Tabish. Cuts it inside. Oh, excuse me. Davis was crashing the net there. Ooh, Dragons steal it again. 19 doing a nice job. Bardowski uh, here on the move, coming near side. Oh, collision, but that was all ball. Anchor Bay looking for uh, some sort of call. Chip on near side, near turnover. Oh, in the clear, Crawford, chip on, score! What a goal! Oh, what a fortuitous bounce that came back to her and it cleared the defenders. And two defenders were in front of her, so that's on side. No question about it. Dragons up 3 0. Look at this. Starting at midfield, that feed between a chip on, see, the tap over to Verlinden. Verlinden just gets a toe on it. Crawford just beats uh, the defender to the ball and just taps it up and over. Firestein was trying to close in on that, but couldn't make up her mind, and it just hung out to dry. 23-16. Number two for Crawford. That's two straight games with two goals for Crawford. She is on a roll. Dragons have found their scoring option. Disruptor on defense, just high energy. For Linden, good one to punch with Tavish. Are you kidding me? Those three together are danger, danger to those who are going against these Lake Orion Lady Dragons. Dragons begins with the ball out front, looking for some room to roam. Trying to keep that one in, can't do it. Good hustle by 19, uh, Lillian Brodowski, the sophomore. Whoo! Five quality scoring chances for Lake Orion to four for uh, Anchor Bay. One corner kick for Lake Orion, one corner kick for Anchor Bay. But the tally on the scoreboard, three, nothing. Calling a push on Lake Orion. Free kick coming. Opportunity here for Anchor Bay. Again, you see number 19, McGee on that left forward spot, pushing forward. She's got to watch her offside. It looked like she was pushing up a little too tight. Gabrielle uh, Anulare here with the honors. Number 24. The wall is set. Nice bend around the wall, but a little too much English on that one, and it's wide right, uh, wide left. 
No harm, no foul. Three subs for Dragons. Number seven, Evan Taylor. Nine, Sophia Garcia. Chap, Taylor, and Garcia checking for Lake Orion. I like how head coach uh, Hutchison does the subbing. Um, the shifts are certain players, their shifts are extended, but she's uh, rotating the, uh, the players in and out freely. I think the Dragons bench is a little deeper than um, Anchor Bay. And you see there is no fall off in the, uh, in the activity level of the players, no matter who's on the field. That looked like it was out of play. No whistle. Coming near side. Long feed and over the top going for Crawford again. And nearly gets another one. Could she go for the hat trick? My word. She's itching for three. But again, her speed is really showing itself, splitting the defense and chasing down those balls. That time, Firestein was there and made the correct decision to come out and gathered that ball in to prevent a, th a four unanswered goals. Wrestling match on that far side of the midfield, number 14, Maya Chap. Earning that throw in. Another sub. Kiera West, number 23, checks in. She's got the uh, neon green captaincy band on her arm. Bucky, number 20, with the ball. Trying to set something up with number 14. That's Chap. Chap with it. Trying to split that defense going back to Bucky, but she finds Verlinden. Dylan Verlinden trying to split the D. Nice tap Rue in. Nobody there, though. Good defense by Anchor Bay to shut that one down. It's amazing when you see a line click. And we're seeing that right before our eyes. Um, with Crawford, Tabish, and Verlinden for Lake Orion. That line is one that is solid and just looking to explode. Ooh, nicely done by Anchor Bay. Finding the open space. Room to roam. Plenty of space. Tap near side. Can they get the shot off? Can't get the shot off. McGee tried to, but she had to gather, gather her feet and just could not load it. And the Dragons dodge one there. Good quality scoring chance for, for Anchor Bay. Their fifth of the night. They've had their chances. It's... Uh, sometimes I think they try to just dribble it in too close for that point blank shot and shooting outside the 18, make the goalkeeper work. Kapitsky is more than capable between the pipes, but sometimes you need the challenger to make sure that the goalkeeper is doing their job and paying attention. And sending a high, a high archer in, making, making sure they're judging the ball properly um, isn't a bad idea. Just keeping them honest uh, between the pipes, right? Kylie Ahern checks in number five, the defender, the junior for Anchor Bay. Wind is kind of intermittent now. Big gusts with little lulls. But yeah, it is still gusty out here and the temperature is dropping quick. Everybody bundled up in their winter gear out here. Chip on far side, gonna let her run it down. That's gonna be a tough, tough order there for Lillian Brodowski to run that one down. And uh, Gabriella Butke in hot pursuit, number 20. Firestein gathers that one easily when we're at 17 minutes left in this contest. I missed the midway point <laughs> a while ago. Oh, nicely done, splits the D, but Nicely done by Kabiski to come out to send one down range. Oh, Verlinden and Butke. Verlinden. Oh, nice chip over. Still on. And oh, boy. Had a chance. Who is that? 14? Is that Chap? 
No, it's 22, Tabish. Of course. Tabish with uh, two goals in the last two games as well. Foul on Lake Orion, free kick coming for Anchor Bay. We saw coming into this one that Anchor Bay does not score a whole bunch and the defense for Lake Orion is gonna be a challenge for them to break. They've had opportunities. Um, they just can't gather it in to get a nice solid shot on frame. So um, the goal says that the Dragons are thumping them right now, but this is a, they're closer to level and talent here on both squads. Uh, then farther apart, right? So, but the score is the Dragons found it in, you know, found the way to find the back of the net, and that's the story of the game right now is they're finishing, and uh, Anchor Bay is not. Frisch keeps it alive. Chap coming near side. Dylan Verlinden splitting that defense. Trying to find uh, Leon Bradoski there on this near side. Push from behind, no call. Both going for the ball. Play continues. Fighting for the ball out there. Foul on Lake Orion, free kick coming. Boy, it is tough to dribble through uh, Gabriella Butke, number 20. Her size and strength out there is uh, no joke. You're not going to be able to dr dribble through her or push her off the ball. Chap over there challenging. Nice turn by Anchor Bay. Nice close up by Muzia. Keep possession for Anchor Bay. They're on the move. See what happens. Tap Rue out of bounds. Throwing coming for Lake Orion. Approaching 14 minutes left in this contest. Anchor Bay is going to have to get something quick here. Um, Dragons, uh, the clock now is uh, a problem for Anchor Bay, and it looks like they have three subs coming in at the next whistle. Nice challenge by Taylor. Pass in, again, the Dragons have done a very, very nice job of attacking the ball handler and just making everything difficult for Anchor Bay tonight. Martin Kennedy and Wolf check in for Anchor Bay. Throw in coming for Anchor Bay here. Anchor Bay in the white. Dragons are in the black jerseys. Up 3-0 on goals by Tabish at 14-20 of the first. Crawford with two in the second half. 33-44 and 23-16. That's four goals by Crawford in two games. That's a ton of goals. Maya Chap doing a little tap dance over there, keeping in possession for Lake Orient. Still on the move, Dragons looking. Tap over three by Frisch. Tabish turning on it, back to Frisch. Frisch makes it through, ball is still alive. Tabish has it, just dancing over there. Anchor Bay, defense, tries to, to steal the ball, and they do. 22 has it, that's Wolf. Just off the bench, deflected out by Lake Orient. Thank you all for tuning in to this contest. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, here for Orion Neighborhood Television and Game of the Week. We have more games coming your way, softball, soccer, and lacrosse in this spring sports season, if the weather uh, allows us to do so. <laughs> right now it's borderline uh, hypothermic out here. Time continues to roll here. Anchor Bay just trying to find some sort of offensive flow and it's just not happening. The times they do find themselves in the clear, they just can't finish. Nice turn by Lake Orion. 
all that effort just to turn away and spin and get that ball down range. It's been a pretty clean game so far today. Uh, some of the Anchor Bay faithful were a little restless calling for offsides um, on pretty much every goal. But um, uh, give me an instance where a fan's uh, team gets scored against and someone's not going to yell offsides at least once or twice a game. Um, yeah, it's common. But I didn't see anything of, uh, glaringly offsides or anything you know, obscene that should have been called. Everything looks clean, and that's across the end line, and Bucky couldn't keep it in, so goal kick coming. Ticking down to the 10-minute mark of this second half. Dragons in command, 3-0. Done a really nice job. Again, Dragons' last game was against uh, the Seaholm Maples. Maples came in um, sitting at 1-3-0 oh on the season. The Dragons had, were winless. And so the first win of the season was against uh, Birmingham Seaholm, 3-1, and Crawford had two goals, like we mentioned. And um, Kapitsky made some stellar saves in the second half to keep the Dragons uh, up in that contest. Uh, if she's not on her game in that second half, it's a totally different outcome for Lake Orion. Dragons just looking for some victories here. So far they're leading in this one, 3-0. Dragon Faith would like to cheer on two straight home wins. Dragon's schedule too has stacked uh, a ton of home uh, games at the head of their season, it's just I think four in a row are all at home. And then they roll They roll on the road for a, most of May. Yeah, one, two, three, four home games of the six games they've played, or the six games they have so far are at home. Then they'll be at home against Clarkston and then home with Northville to close out the, uh, and uh, home against Farmington. So a ton of games at home, not a lot on the road. Four straight at home, one on the road, and they're back here to alternate. And they close out the season with five games on the road. Oof, who made that schedule? Dragons need to get those home wins when they can get them, because it's tough to win on the road in the OAA and when you're crossing over with the Macomb uh, squads. I see Utica on their schedule coming up. Tough. Ooh, Dragons pushing it up. Federon Chick passes it outside. Looks like Chap. Chip on. Bucky was there. She was on side. Good defensive deflection out. That should be a goal kick or a corner kick coming for Lake Orion. Second corner of the night. Addie Verlinden checks back in for Lake Orion. Number 16, and she'll have the honors like last time on this corner kick. Again, we keep telling our viewers, like Orion is very good at their set pieces and their corner kicks. They score a lot of goals on corner kicks. They score a lot of uh, goals on set pieces and free kicks outside the 18. So this is a good sign here. High arc or ball is, oh up and out of play. No one back door to send that one in, but a um, little too much, I said a little too strong on that delivery. Playing for Anchor Bay, number 14, Brianna Tepenza, 18, Amber Reitz. Amber Reitz, number 18, checks in. Um, and number 14, Brianna Sepienza for Anchor Bay. Anchor Bay has been freely substituting all night long. Fresh legs out there to go against this dragon uh, attack. Crawford's back out there, chip on right foot, and oh, across the crossbar. 
Still alive out front and a still alive Taparoos. Roller, slow roller and it goes. Who was that? Goal for Lake Gorey, nice lead on. 6.27. Is that Maya Patil, number 11? It was Maya Patil. Double checking my uh, score sheet here. Nicely done, four nothing lead. 6.13 to go here in the second half. What a goal by Maya Patil. But again, who set that one up? Crawford on that right side at uh, chip on across that crossbar. And there she is again, Crawford chasing that one down. And Firestein is there. No chance for Firestein on that one. It was just one of those who wants it more and who gets a toe on the ball. And it was just a slow roller. And Firestein was leaning to her left. That ball just crept in lower 90, just roll, slow roller. It couldn't have gone any slower and just kind of crossed that end line for the goal. Dragons up 4 0. Nicely done at 627. Patil. Maya Patil tallies one here in the late stages of this game. Should secure the W for Lake Orion. Nice footwork again by Anilare. Tapping it in and just dancing out there, looking for an open player. Nobody on that right side crashing up there. Finally, there's somebody there, but it's too late. Dragons close out, there's a foul, easily called. So free kick coming. Number 22, Kyra Wolf is dumped to the turf there, the senior forward. Inside five minutes. Dragons feeling good about their home stand now. Staring down a uh, two straight wins here. Again, where there's four minutes, you never know what's gonna happen, but a, a four nil lead here against a team that just is struggling to find any scoring at all is a good sign for the Dragons and the Dragon faithful. Throw in for Anchor Bay as substitution is being made. Again, if you'd like to see replays of these games, this is Game of the Week. Tune into Comcast Channel 10, AT&T Uvers Channel 99 uh, to watch Game of the Week. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. On TV, your home for Dragon Sports. Also, these games can be seen on our video on demand on our website at orientontv.org. And check out our social media. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and so on. We offer, if you subscribe to our, those channels, ooh, near move here. There's a chance, but a nice steal by Lake Orion. Still alive, though. Foul called. Said it was a trip, a clip on the back heel, and a free kick coming for Lake Orion. Follow us on social media to get updates when we have new programming released. And just uh, keep informed of what's happening around the studio here at 1349 Joslin Road at the Orient Center. If you'd like to help out on games like this one, give us a call at 248-393-1060. We're always looking for volunteers, people interested in uh, calling play-by-play, -play, running cameras. If you ever had an interest, we're here to give you that chance. It's a lot of fun and it's community service. Give us a call, 248-393-1060. Always looking for uh, new uh, friendly faces to help out with Dragon Sports. You can also watch us on Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. Search for Orion on TV, and we have our own custom channels. Is that one chipped on, nicely done from distance, but Firestein is there. That one's an easier save than it looked, and a veteran netminder like Firestein the senior easily gathered that one in. But yet we're on uh, all the OTT streaming services, so Roku, Apple TV, and Fire TV. Add the, uh, in your channel search, just add Orient on TV to your channel search and add us to your lineup. And you can see all these games and live streams from our uh, 
Our live stream's also embedded on our website. And our VOD uh, curated uh, viewing library. What a game. Foul called on Anchor Bay there. Free kick coming for Lake Orion. They're, they're going to be content to just kill this clock. What a game for Lake Orion. Crawford comes up big again. Two goals in the second half to bust this one open. But if all if all holds here, this homestand, two home games, Lake Orion has only uh, given up one goal so far and tallied, geez, seven goals. Floodgates have opened and Crawford is just jumping through the, <laughs> you say the floodgates are open. Crawford's running through those gates and really filling up the back of the net. Four goals in this homestand. 60 seconds left in this contest. Dragon Faithful are happy. Anchor Bay Faithful a little bit quiet right now as they know the inevitable is about to happen. As they go on the road, let's see where they're headed to next. Anchor Bay. Lake Orion will host Clarkston next. Anchor Bay rolls on to an away match against Romeo, which is always a tough, tough place to play. And they have Utica Eisenhower at home with uh, Macomb Lands Cruz North. No easy stretch for Anchor Bay. Lake Orion again, we have Clarkston at home next. Then they're on the road at Bloomfield Hills Cranbrook, Cranbrook Kingswood. That's a mouthful. Then they're back home on the 27th against Northville. And then away at Rochester. And they're going to go up against Seaholm and then home again against Farmington on the 30th to close out April. And that's the final. Lake Orion takes it 4 nothing over Anchor Bay. And number 10, that's the number one star of tonight, along with uh, the netminder Kapitsky. Pitching a shutout here tonight. Good defense, solid offense, and a, just a stellar output by number 10 once again. Cap it off by Patils. Gold make it 4-0 at 627. That's it for this contest. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke. Head on over to our website, orionontv.org, to check our video on demand of this game and other Dragon sports. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time on ONTV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Good night, everyone.